I'm good. Awesome. So, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm doing massage for you today. Oh, yeah. huh? um, but firstly, I'm going to send you to just now. Just want okay. you to get comfortable. So, it's a Monday morning, and okay, we obviously have no plans. Um, I just wanted to get a haircut, you know. Um, but, like, the weather was, like, kind of funny. So, I just got, like, a, a house call, you know. And beggars out here, like, with the whole massage thing in my cheeky going on. And I don't know, like, it's fancy, you know. Like, massages are cool and shit, but, like, not for a nigga. Like, what kind of real niggas out here doing that shit? It was my first time having a spa or a massage, rather. And yeah, I liked it. Like, it was really crazy. I, apparently, I'm very tense. And yeah, I'm, I, I'm a tense nigga. So like, uh, I had a shoot with Vocalistic, right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't get to the shoot on time, right? Mm -hmm. Because of Tizzy, you mm -hmm. feel me? So basically, what happened is that, OK, he was organizing everything, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was like pretty skeptical. I didn't think that the shoot was gonna happen like properly. You feel me? So I kind of tried to stop him. But he's like, nah, it's gonna be good. You get know what I'm saying? The next day, my transport picks me up at like 3, 3 p.m. But the shoot is at 2, 2 p.m. Right? So Foka and Jazzy were waiting for me for like like two hours. And I didn't pitch. Imagine that. That's crazy, dude. I just think like you know, I'm at a point where I'm tired of hearing you complain about your team, bro. Because you never hear me complain about my team, you feel me? And I just feel like you guys don't have an understanding between you guys. Like, you don't trust them. And that reflects in how your business is handled, you know? Me and Riley came up together, you know? I've seen him when he had absolutely nothing. I've seen him start his career, you know? And we've been there for each other from the very start of everything. And I just feel like, it's my place to tell him how I feel about things, especially about his business, ultimately, because I just feel like you, we, we're both not masters of business, but I, I mean, I know dudes personally with marketing degrees and they know nothing about marketing. So, I mean, it's just one of those things where I've had a great experience in my business and things have worked out for me. And I just feel like I can share the same light to him. Like uh, I can see certain things that might not be really working, certain moves that he'd be making. And I feel like I can give him advice to that extent. Like, so, firstly, I think you just gotta learn to trust your people. And if you know they're not the right people for the job, then get people that are right for the job, bro. Like this family shit, it doesn't work when it comes to money, though. You'll be broke. I'm gonna buy my first one, like four pipe before you because you play a game. Like, Me and Tizzy have resolved our issues, you know, during December. Um, I was going through some shit and he came through for me, you know. So I didn't want to be involved in um, like organizing music videos because it's a bit too hectic doing that stuff. So uh, he decided that he's going to take responsibility for it. So I let him, you know, I mean, it was Dylan's responsibility, you know, but sometimes, you know, Dylan is a lazy motherfucker. You know, like, just wants to sleep all day. So, basically what I did is, I gave Tizzy and Dylan the same job. Listen to what I'm saying. You, you derail me. It's unnecessary. Okay. I'm telling you that you don't trust your people. You don't trust your team. And it's not like they have the company's interest at, like, you know, they don't put the company first. They put themselves first. You feel me? And we're still coming up. You need people around you that are actually want to see like want to see the business go somewhere you feel me so i just think like you're complaining about the same things every single shoot is the same thing it just doesn't make sense to me bro because i can tell you now what my situation is i understand my partner and if he talks gibberish i leave him for a few days and i know how to address it and with you it's like 
it's like I don't know it's like you guys don't have the synergy going on you guys don't know what you guys are doing and it just reflects in your business ultimately Morale I don't know what happened who decided this but Morale decided to make Tizzy the producer for the second half of Black Man um yeah man Tizzy ended up calling me and I ended up helping him out with the production and stuff and we basically succeeded in the shoot but my problem is the way he conducts his business you know he's always trying to pit me and Tizzy against each other and that's why me and Tizzy are friends so it's like awkward the whole time um, I had a meeting with Tizzy I called Tizzy over and then we discussed some of the things that's happening with you you know what I'm saying and I don't mind having Tizzy with on me. board. Yes, bro. With me. Yo, bro, don't act like you don't have like a numbers breakdown. You have it. So, but what I was saying though is, is that me and him, we had a meeting and we discussed like working as a team with Club Cassette, you know what I'm saying? But the problem is now you are misusing that and making Tizzy take my position. You know what I'm saying? I am well, I, I, I've, I've studied my position and, I, and I'm doing well in that position. Don't take me out of it. It's working well for the company. Why take me out of that shit? It will just cause confusion and it will cause fighting like what's happening right now. In terms of the blacker shoot, uh, Tizzy really disappointed me, you know. I didn't get there on time because of them, one. And secondly, they didn't even give me the girl. Okay, Tizzy didn't give me the girls he promised you know like none of the girls that he sent were there like we wanted influencers like major influencers you know and I sent like focalistic like handles specific handles and out of five of those girls we only saw I think one you know despite not having like the girls that were promised you know um, Dylan did pull through with the girls, you know, which I commend them for. I mean, they were pretty, you know, but they were not the girls we asked for. You guys have a pretty decent, luxurious establishment here, right? We are a VCA creative agency. We can like bring in ambassadors for you guys. You can bring in people that can push your brand, yeah, you know? Yeah. So it's recognized throughout the north. Um, what we're looking at actually is instead of like a full on ambassador, we'd rather work with uh, influencers. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I don't know if you offer those services. There's a catalog for such. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll send you like a catalog. You can have like scheme through it, see who you want, who can work with you guys. Um, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the establishment is built for uh, a lifestyle, mm. right? And there will be certain campaigns uh, mm -hmm. every month, um, also every weekend. Mm -hmm. And we would like for influential people to be a part of it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And that's where we come in. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If you, you know, if you can just make them aware that we are here, mm -hmm. so that they can come here and vlog, mm -hmm. do makeup tutorials, mm -hmm. do their hair, mm -hmm. have a drink, <laughs> obviously, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. grab a bite such and such. So CBL is a new establishment, salon to be exact. They have ties with Cal Cassette and I took advantage of that as a VCR creative agency representative. I knew they needed numbers. I knew they needed help reaching the target market. The people they actually want to go to CBL and to do that, we had to pull out all the stops. Yeah, so basically this place is like an established place. They have a lot of 
lot of things that they offer you. I think it goes without saying that they will offer you the influences. Yeah, well, we're not we're not 100 established, but the place is open. Nah, I, I feel like based based on how you guys are moving so far, yeah. you guys are established. You might not have the following or everything, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. guys have really invested in your company. Yeah, yeah and of course. We'll be very honored to work with you guys. Mm. Yeah, no doubt, and it's uh, partly the reason why we also called you guys to come in because we do want to uh, extend the invitation to everybody that wants to be involved as mm. well. And um, we also want to share the workload. You know, mm -hmm. I can't focus on the day-to-day um, yeah, -day -day running of the business day -day. and then also yeah. try to get people to come influence the job for us. So, so let's wrap, boys. So I'm just doing an agreement. Yeah, not that. So you'll send me. Yeah, you'll send me that that short list, and then we'll pick from there. But yeah, the most things we're looking for is not particularly followers because you can get people with 200,000 followers and only get 500 likes you know and, and 10 comments so we're more looking for engagement we're looking for people that actually are popular it's quite a prestigious place it's very nice it's got nice finishes and basically Sia told me that they are trying to work with us and in regards to the agency they're trying to work with us so they were already working with Morale in the beginning because he was shooting content for them. So we just came on board and helped them out with some influencers and um, some models. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Cool. Did you forget about our interview oh no not at all i was actually sitting on my phone waiting on your call oh that's interesting because i facetimed you and i whatsapp called you and you didn't answer yeah so basically um the electricity literally just went off so my wi-fi switched off i just my daughter so i think oh, that's okay. right because it never rang on my side okay cool, cool. so i yeah. know daughter is expensive so <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i got a call from helen i think it's helen um she works for like i think citizen or city press one of the two so yeah she was just basically interviewing me about uh the business and how things are going and yeah i it was a dope interview i mean i was i was really nervous because i had no idea what she was gonna ask me because like Loise literally just told me yo you have an interview at 10 a.m with so and so so yeah it, it was very good you know it was my first interview i haven't really done an interview like that before so it was cool i it was it was dope so All am right, I correct in saying that you are the only designer at Ibachi? Um, not entirely. Not entirely okay. because we work in with, we, like we basically work with our manufacturer in China because our shoes are manufactured in China. So what happens is we just bounce around ideas and they obviously give us um, more insights because they've been in the industry for much longer than we have. So it's, it's more of a collaborative thing. But from from a Hibachi standpoint, I would be the only uh, designer, yeah. Okay, and co-founder. And co-founder, yes, that's correct. Basically, um, I think like the hardest part when it comes to running uh, a sneaker brand or a shoe business is your production. Thanks, is your production. You know, um, you want to make a quality shoe. You want something that will last. You want something that people will like. And ultimately you need a good factory that can actually make a quality sneaker and that is something we haven't found in our country as yet um, it's something we're hoping to do ourselves you know uh, in the near future uh, run our own production okay cool so it's interesting that you um talked about china right now with your cool. manufacturer yeah, yeah, yeah because um what i think a lot of people don't understand is they think south african brands should be manufactured in south africa and then their products must be cheap and yeah. that's not how that works yeah no Why not do you at all go with a manufacturer that isn't in this country okay so um basically we tried looking for local manufacturers uh and we had absolutely no luck we did Why? find basically we did find a factory uh in durban but mm -hmm. they they only they, they they only make like a felt schooner and formal <laughs> shoes so they don't they, they can't make a sneaker you know yeah. and 
so it, it was just the easiest option to go with China because they have all the materials there. Um, the labor is also much cheaper there, which allows our pricing to be quite competitive, you know. So, yeah, it's just much cheaper to do everything that side uh, than it would be to do everything here. And, I, yeah, we, we also don't really have the expertise when it comes to quality sneaker making. I'm not going to speak on shoes like normal formal shoes or felt schooner or whatsoever. But when it comes to like a, a nice sneaker, a quality made sneaker, it, it's, it's pretty hard to get it done in this country. Yeah. Don't know, don't care. Whatever. There's nothing better than a clean soul. Things have been getting crazy, you know, especially in regards to client interaction and the amount of videos coming out, the amount of videos coming in. So things are just like, it's like an overload of work. So um, I decided to go hunting for some extra hands and came across 22. Um, she from Cape Town originally, um, but she came this side so we could meet her and actually like discuss if we could actually work with her and yeah man i organized the meeting with her myself and morale so basically we were i was saying that we just need like a a friendly face for our clients you know and someone that they can always contact because morale might be in the middle of a shoot i might be doing something else you know so we not always hands-on with the clients we just need someone that's always there that will make them feel reassured you know when they're waiting on a video or a deadline or something oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no like i think i'm afraid of you <laughs> um, i also think i don't know if like me being an artist will affect i mean my career no not my career but affect like your or like working with us yeah okay with me it's a thing of like prioritizing yeah it is beneficial it can be beneficial but you just need to prioritize it to some extent you need to prioritize yeah, yeah, us yeah. Yes. and then come with the yeah, music definitely. second you know what i'm saying and we 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 are a creative space so we'll give you leeway to do what you need to do as an artist yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So my career whatever way. So you're based in Pretoria, ne? I'm based in But I can move. Like I'm based anyway, where I need to be based. Oh okay, cool. Airbnb No, I'm living in Cape Town right now. Yeah. Um but like I can move. How old are you? Twenty one. I'm turning fifty. For real, you're twenty one? Yeah. Shit, when I was twenty one, what was I doing? Shit. Crazy shit. Dumb shit. <laughs> Dumb shit. You guys were like 21 bucks. No, nah, we old as hell. <laughs> we old as hell. <laughs> yeah, but what, what do you think of her, bro? I think you look really amazing. Okay, this is that. I look amazing? That's inappropriate. He's like that. You're gonna have to get used to him. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to be an asshole to some extent. You need I really to be an think asshole. I can be. Yeah. <laughs> 
but just not unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's business. Yeah. And I believe that like, when you're doing business, you need to know how to address situations, how to communicate with people in the way that you want to. So I don't want people to know me as an asshole. You know, now yeah. it's sisters. Asshole. But I can be if I need to. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, as much as you know. We've got room for her in the house, you know, because uh, we do have an extra bedroom that we're not using. I don't think it's wise for her to stay with us because, like, some of my friends are, like, savages, you know. Like, they'd be, like, shell out on her every fucking day. And they might end up with her and then it turns into nothing good, you know. Because my friends are very well known for getting with their, um, the people they work with. You know, just like, um, you know. I feel the gents. Like, uh, both of you guys didn't know you were going to be here. I put you guys together here so we can squash them. Stop. So I don't know, just sort your things up. Let's 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 ride and let's leave all this other negative bullshit alone. Let's keep it moving. Ah boy, I won't lie, boy. <laughs> you came with a clean ambush. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't tell me that's gonna be here. You didn't say anything about it, did you? Yeah, but yeah, but uh, dog, I guess yeah, dog, it is what it is, dog. Cause I haven't I haven't talked this nigga in a long time. Remember I told you I asked him what's up, he didn't really tell me what's up. So just let me know what's up right now since clearly we're in the situation right now. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Nah bro, my, my thing was just basically um my thing was basically like uh if I have an if I have an issue with you, my issues shouldn't be my issue with you and him and her and her. Like I have an issue with you. It's supposed to be between me and you. So now I'm hearing funny things on the streets, like random ass people questioning me, asking me shit. So I'm supposed to go on a night ride with Masike. And I'm just there like, why aren't we leaving? Like, we're just waiting. What are we waiting for? Uh, here comes Tizzy. Like, I have not seen Tizzy in months. And here we are <laughs> at a damn garage. And I'm supposed to speak to this nigga and act like everything's cool. So I just feel like that was just something weird. Like, I didn't expect Masike to go that far. You and I had a, what, what can I call it? Like. There was just a point where we weren't really seeing eye to eye over certain things. I'm not gonna get into that because you know what it is, right? And then what fucked me up the most was hearing my shit from people that aren't even my friends, like they're not even in our circle. That's that's weird. That's actually really like very weird. Cause I mean, what are you doing? Like buying friendships with my shit, like with my secrets or whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it felt. So from that perspective, I was just like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna stay away and whatever happens, happens. And that's basically what I did, I just stayed away. So I was gonna hit you up, like I lost a friend during that time. And my plan was to hit you up. But as I was about to hit you up, that's when I started meeting, like I, I don't even wanna say your name, but like random people, like really random people. And they're telling me shit that's between me and you. And I'm just like, how do they even know? Like who's telling me that shit? Because all our other friends are also acting weird though. It was just a whole weird situation. So I just stayed away. Yeah, but then right now, bro, like I feel like I said, like your your thing will be obviously we had our own issues, but obviously they were escalated by me and Morales' issues as well. Okay, so yeah, that's I true. feel like I feel like you and I just got basically fucked over by the whole thing on me and Morales. Yeah. So. yeah, that's true. It was more like collateral for whatever you and him. Yeah, but then my thing is that like why now? Because I like, linked you like more than twice, bro, saying, yo, bro, like, let's just talk about this. Like, cause like you my nigga, but listen, you my nigga, bro. Like I can't let little pay shit just ruin our shit, you know what I mean? So I asked you, Graham, bro, twice even, like, yo, bro, let me know, like, what's really happening between us? And yeah. you blatantly mind me, I was like, okay, I bet, bro, like, what's really happening, bro, like, let me know. Yeah, dude. Despite all the stories you've been hearing outside, like, I understand all that shit, but, yeah. bro, like, you my nigga, though, you should tell me when you're feeling away about something. Like, I don't want things to get to a point whereby, like, we can't return from it, you know what I mean? So. Oh, yeah, nah, it's clean, dog. It's just in the future, if I have an issue, which is between me and you. It doesn't have to be with everybody else. I think. And that's just where it ends, like, for yeah. real. Like you, you put me onto this shit. Now it's just weird when I see. Nah, we straight, dog. Like I didn't even know me and this guy been riding, dog. Yeah. For real? Yeah. 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 Been riding, dog. But it's chill, dog. Yeah. And every time we ride, I keep asking him, like, where's Tizzy? Yeah, dog? everybody like, keeps asking, where's Tizzy? Where's Tizzy? Because I'm not used to chilling with And it just becomes weird. And it was weird, like, 
you started pulling away i'm tipping you i'm trying to text you call you you also not saying anything boy yeah. It's just, it was a weird vibe, bro. That's why I just pulled today's mission. Yeah, I don't lie, you were, you were very sneaky with it, eh? Nah, nah, I had to. Nah, you were very sneaky with it. I don't lie, bang up, bro. You literally spent a whole six months not talking to me when this thing could be squashed in literally two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> two fucking minutes. Imagine, nah, boy. You guys are both being dolly. Two minutes. You guys are both being dolly. Six months for two minutes. But I paid it, I paid it. Nah, nah but we straight, though. Nah, straight. We straight, though. You know what I'm saying? Come give me a hug. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, I appreciate what Masika did because uh, we were able to speak things out and crush things, you know. I just felt like uh, how things were between me and Tizzy were just very... It just escalated and it was escalated by everybody around us and it had nothing like to really do with just me and him, you know. Like my initial issue was with him and now uh, everybody's involved. Now everybody's acting funny. I just felt like, yo... Why is everybody acting funny? Like I'm, I'm just in my corner, you know. I'm just, I'm, I'm really just making my money. I ain't got time for this, this, this childish nonsense, you know. So, but it's, it's all good. Like he's my bro at the end of the day. Uh, literally one of my best friends. So we were bound to work things out, and I'm glad everything turned out pretty well, or pretty, pretty cool, you know. So hell yeah, that's my boy, and we rock it, you know. Today I got a visit from Barry, you know, uh, I met Barry like three years ago at Magic Cafe, you know, uh, I didn't know he was like a bouncer, you know, so he's trying to start his own uh, protection company and I'm basically just trying to help him with the marketing side and like the website and admin stuff like that, you know, because I think it's like a very great idea, you know, and um, I usually use Barry for my music video shoots when I'm in like dangerous places, you know, he's always there protecting us. So I feel like I went in on his company, you know, and that's why we decided to link up and just discuss how we're going to move forward. But how is everything going? Everything is slow, but good. It's a complaint, you know? Mm, yeah. Mm. You sleep in or not? I do. Mm. Yeah. 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 Like trying to get uh, a tender from like all these properties. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. But that's gonna need you to have like proper like team, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm that's, saying. That's why I even mean now, recently I just just wanna uh, do a business purpose. Mm -hmm. it's, easy. it's easy when you have a business purpose, yeah. then you can get to into properties because now you have a, a license for a firearm for properties. Is it? Yeah. Shit, I don't so it's for business you. purpose only, which means I protect the business. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But I like the new logo. Oh. That's the logo. Yeah. I. It looks like. It looks like some superhero vibes. Yeah, too much. Yeah. So who's working on the website? Nobody yet. Nobody yet. Yeah. Because the boy that I was, I was telling you about who did the the logo, mm -hmm. he's gonna do something like a flyer with the people that I've worked with. Events that I work with. Okay. Yeah, cast. Yeah. Um, a lot. Uh, like so okay. many events, even Vertex events. Mm. Yeah. So. Do you, you're trying to, you're trying to do that. Do you have videos of you on set? Yeah, some of them are old. Like the, there's a one that I did with him when he was here in South Africa. Mm. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the only one. And then it's only pictures. Okay. Yeah, it's only pictures. So I don't we have need, videos. We like, need videos. Yeah. We need videos. Because like we need videos to like persuade people into believing that you actually do this thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And also like I told you, all black swag. Yeah. All black swag. Come yeah. with the all black swag, right? Yeah. But I'll get my nigga to work on the website. Right. Right. Dylan? Yeah, what's up? Are you gonna work on the website? I'm the nigga, the website nigga. Mm-hmm. No, we're gonna get. Can some, I tell you? Yeah. We'll we can some. just pay. Yeah. A template. We we'll get someone to do it. It's not that deep. Yeah. yeah. We just gonna wait for a five hundred grand. Oh, wow. Buy a template, right? Yeah. And then after that, we're gonna need to like take like pictures and footage yeah. of you yeah. on the job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I think that will have everything perfect. Right. Yeah. I think this company is gonna be like a huge success you know because Barry is very um, passionate about you know protecting people you know um, like he's not about the money like he's really about the service that he's trying to provide and I feel it I feel like it's gonna be a really great business venture I wait my nigga Fede, Fede, I co-signed this guy, bro. This, this place is really nice, bro. How did you find this place? Oh, it's CBR, bro. Ah, dog. It was actually funny enough. It was a CC Connect, Club CC, and yeah. the deals they make, you know what I'm Yeah, yeah. So, I saw an opening. I tried finessing for the CR. It worked out. I said, let's move with these gents, you know Nah, nah, I fuck with this shit, bro. This shit is dope, bro. But Fede, the reason why I came is to highlight you about that other thing though, like there's there's a shoot coming up dog. A shoot? When's the shoot? Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> wait, dog, wait. Dog. It's tomorrow. Are you serious? Dog. Yeah, bro. So it's we for have to cost goals for tomorrow. Yeah, it's for it's for it's for Ibachi, dog. Ibachi? Yeah, dog. Achiever. <laughs> dog, why is it so last minute? I but also me, I don't know. But Ferry, can we make it work though? Yo. I won't know, boy. I'm chuckling right now, but I'm chulugging, eh? <laughs> I know, it's a logistic, bro. Okay, it's really a logistic. Dog, the push come to shove, dog. Let's, let's grow up, boy. I'm Tala. Yeah. Let me see who we can cast, who we can send out to the boys. So the boys co sign the models. Tomorrow we go up, you know? Nah, it's, it's dope, bro. We can do it, bro. We can, we can. We worked under pressure before, but boy. Uh, I know, I'm sorry dog, but it, also me, it came to me last minute bro. You, you also co-signed last minute? Yes, bro. I'm gonna chance. I'm gonna chance. Um, but let's fire. Let's, let's run to Antala. See, see, you watch it tomorrow. You can see me out. I'm not on the other side. I will. Fade it, bro. Show me a VCR ad. <laughs> show me. Show me. Veg even as an ad. Dog veg. 
Listen, these... And do you know how they got an act? Because they had alcohol campaign. <laughs> Basically, back and I decided to have a shoot for Hibachi, and um, the concept, like, literally just came to our heads, and we couldn't hold ourselves back. We had to shoot the next day. So, um, I quickly ran over to meet up with Sia in order for us to mobilize some models for us to provide for Hibachi. Do you know how this, like demotivating it is to shoot like this? It really is. Like just please, bro. Oh my gosh. Why is there so much drama? It's not drama. I just. Ah, today's not your day, boy. Man, let me not say anything. Oh, Fecha. Hey, Fecha. You guys mustn't leave you. Hey, Fecha. Come, Fecha. Come, I could be home. I could be home. You know, sleeping and shit. No drama and shit. She told you. She told you. Don't come with drama. Shoot. I didn't even say anything to her. All I said. Yeah, but I'll fetch up. 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 I didn't like what was going on, you know, amongst my friends at the Hibachi shoot because, like, they were all on my neck, you know. And I feel like they're very disrespectful because like I'm a very nice character, you know. So like they just they were ganging up on me, you know. And like they were saying I'm being unprofessional, wara wara, but I wasn't even doing anything, you know. And I feel like they were doing all of that because of the girls that were there, you know, like there was a very pretty girl, Tato, you know. She was nice and all, you know. And I think they didn't like seeing her speak to me. So they just wanted to finish me. So I looked bad in front of her. You know, they try to make me seem unprofessional. And it's because they want that girl, bro. You know, but guess what? Don't get it. Oh, you gonna come? He, I hit your right, I hit your left. You gonna come? I'm gonna talk about you. Jens, rock. You gonna complain about the photo. Jens, let's rock. Yes, so, let's yes. Rock. so you must ask how you want the photo to be. I said, you really need This is what I was talking about. Who? You know, I only watched the video. Bro, I sent you so much shit, bro. You see, what's wrong with you, bro? Did he even cover the mood board? Like, what's wrong? He didn't even cover the mood board. I sent him everything. Bro, what's wrong with you? It's fine, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. it's fine. The bomb is coming, it's fine. I know the kids are angry. Morale is our appointed videographer and photographer for today's shoot, right? I sent Morale a mood board, I sent Morale reference videos. Uh, so Morale basically knows everything we're supposed to do. He knows the vibe we're going for. He, I sent him the location. He's, he knows everything, right? So now it's time to shoot and He's just doing his own thing and I'm just confused because now everybody, we're working on a clock. I mean, we actually working, you know? And he's just complaining about a whole lot of weird stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know if it's the girls that are confusing or like, it's just a tricky thing. Cause I'm just like, yo, like why are you acting crazy? But you, you gotta do it like a few times okay. till I tell you to stop. Okay, cool. Where am I gonna put this motherfucker in? Okay, let's see. All right, just go back. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, and, okay. I'm gonna tell you when to walk in. Okay, let's go. Okay, wait, cut. You gotta look frustrated. Okay. Like, be mad. That I can do. Oh, you can do that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, as much as my friends were pricks, you know, I enjoyed my day, you know, like, uh, seeing Tato was like, amazing. Like, that girl is so beautiful, you know. But I still kept it professional, you know. My friends were like, all over the place, chasing her, trying to get her. You know, I was just chilling, you know. Like, the most I did was follow her on Instagram.